So we got a couple of batteries set up in parallel here. And what that means is we've got two different I currents. We've got this one here set up as I1 and this one here set up as I2. Um, but with parallel batteries, we kind of have to remember the rule. Uh, we can add up uh, the currents I1 plus I2 and kind of call that one current at the end, which is essentially what's going on over here. But we also have a cool thing to notice. If the batteries are the same and identical, which they are, look at that, that means that the currents are actually the same. So it's going to be more like I plus I. Okay, so they're actually the same I going through there, I and then I. And what that means is that when they come through here, they're going to become a 2I as the current comes through that side. Now, we could try to figure out what the power dissipation is here. We're trying to maximize the dissipation of power through here and um, and try to find the R value that would, that would fix that. So what we're going to do is um, take the equation P equals I squared times R. But in this case, the I is actually 2I. So we'll go P equals 2I squared times R. And that's the equation we're going to want to use. So we're going to set up a Kirchhoff loop going this direction. And we'll start here with the battery at 11. And then we're going to go this way, following this. We'll go minus 2i times the r right there. And we'll come through here, and then we'll just go minus 0.24 times the i. Minus 0 0.24 times the i. Set that equal to 0. But we can see that the i's can actually shift to the other side. So we'll get 11 equals 2i r plus 0.24i. Pull out the i's, we'll get i equals, uh, well, actually, sorry, i, I times 2r plus 0.24 is equal to 11. And then now you can divide this by 2r plus 0.24. You'll get that i equals 11 divided by 2r plus 0.24. Now, Let's go back to this equation. If we were to multiply this by 2, we'll get 2i equals 22 on top. And then now we could square that. So it would kind of be more like 22 squared is 484. So we'll have p equals 484 divided by 2r plus 0.24 squared. All right, we're almost done. Let's go ahead and multiply this by r, just like we have there. And now, we're going to take the derivative of that over here by saying low di, it's going to be 2r plus 0 0.24, and then times 484, minus 484, uh, and then d low. It's going to be a 2 times 2r plus 0 0.24, and then uh, another 2 over here. All right. We're going to divide that by the bottom squared is 2r plus 0 0.24 um, to, to the fourth power. But that doesn't really matter. We're just set this thing equal to 0, which means that that's equal to that. And uh, try to figure out this little portion. Um, we can immediately divide both sides by 484. Get more than that, by the way. And we can also divide each side by 2r plus 0 0.24. So we'll actually get something more like this. That 4r is equal to 2r plus 0 0.24. And then we can say 2r is equal to 0 0.24, meaning r is equal to 0.12. Awesome. Um, so now we can go ahead and plug in our i's, and we'll, we'll remember that i is actually supposed to equal to 11 divided by 2r plus 0 0.24, which should be equal to 11 divided by 2 times 0 0.12, and then plus 0.24. So we get this current, and uh, we want to multiply that by 2, and then we want to square it, 
and we multiply that by 0.12. Bam. So we get that the maximum power is actually 252. And so now we've answered both questions. We've got the R value and the maximum power dissipation.